Well, good evening and welcome to this week's Green Room. And unfortunately, Jenny can't be with us tonight because she's selling herself. Yep, she's got the new bikini, had to try it out, and I know she's gone somewhere in Dublin. She was going to try and get a flight somewhere, but uh, she sent me a message and said, I'm doing research on videos. So she will be back with us next week. She will be back with us next week. And I know you're watching Jenny in Dublin, and I know you are working, so many thanks for that. And we'll see you again next week. You'll be in the studio with us here. Right, um, pack programme this week. And we're going to kick off with a, a video from the Carnival Brothers. The Carnival Brothers are a band, and my old friend... Well, hold on, let's give you the history here first. John Walsh and I... This is, if ever there's a family tree done, it's going to be a bit mad, because uh, the Stripes, the Fireflies, any bands in this region, one way or another, are connected. And I played... I was fortunate enough to play in a band with Niall Walsh, Barry Walsh, and John Walsh, who's featured in this, in this video. Uh, the Carnival Brothers, and this is brilliant stuff, and these guys are going to go really, really, really far. And uh, the, the Carnival Brothers, have a listen, see what you think. John's the dude, that's all I have to say. Good rockin' Johnny is the man. He's the man. And you will know him, he's not the lead singer, but he will stand out. My man, John Walsh, this is the Carnival Brothers. Have a listen, we'll be back to you right after this.
Well, what did I tell you? Fantastic video. Um, tr uh, myself and the, the boys in the studio were discussing this video earlier on when we were watching it. And it's got a Western feel and it's got a burlesque feel. As you've seen, there's some very lovely ladies in that indeed. John, I want to meet some of them girls, right? So uh, bring them. John Walsh will be coming to the green room, will be coming to Cavan. Barry Walsh will probably get you down as well. But we want John down and possibly one or two of the Carnival Brothers down here. Pl 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 try and get them a gig round here because it would go an absolute bomb. Brilliant stuff, brilliant video. Love the burlesque stuff. We'll find out more stuff about the Carnival Brothers and we tell it, you know, when it comes on again. And we've been playing that song again, no doubt about it, when we get more information. Right, as you know, recently we were in Westport and we chat chat with Chris Difford. But I was fortunate enough to talk to, to Steve Large. And Steve was the keyboard player with, uh, with Squeeze on hire, so to speak, as a musician thing. Uh, he was on tour with them and he's been on tour with some other people. Here's uh, Steve and I having a chat in Westport a couple of weeks ago. I was joined by uh, the keyboard player with Squeeze and Steve Large. And Steve, you're very welcome. Thank you. And Pleased to be here. It's, it's a great set there today. This is, we're, we're still in Westport House, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. And Steve is here with us. Steve, tell us a bit about your career now. Sure. Is it always been? What do you What do you do when you're not in Squeeze? I've got a little. I make sandwiches for road um, service stations and things. And stuff. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's our crew. <laughs> Pissed. Oh, well, yeah, you could say no. yeah. Uh, no, well, I, I do meddle in the odd other pop act when Squeeze aren't busy. But uh, Squeeze is the prime. Let's, let's, not get it, let's in on the secret. Who is the, the, the mysterious other pop act? Um, I'm a bit of a musical whore, but most recently I've been MD for Rebecca Ferguson, who's a pop singer, and before that, uh, Duffy. And actually, I keep saying by doing some indie things like Baby Shambles, and Pete Doherty, um, Graham Parks, and me, 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 me. Well, Steve, it's been fantastic today. The set was brilliant today. And do you enjoy the festival scene? This is, this is a lovely you know, time because, you know, when you're on tour, you're away from home a lot. And, you know, tour is great in some ways. But festival season, it's just like being on holiday. You know, like, we get this, see great bands. And we get to go home in a week. That's a great day out. Brilliant. And this is so such a beautiful festival. Yeah. It's amazing. A great atmosphere. Yeah. yeah. People are actually friendly. <laughs> <laughs> we don't so, know what's hit us when we get back to England. Unusual at the festival. What? So what's next after this? Cornbury's next week. Cornbury, Guildford, I think, something. Uh, something to do with Magic, the radio station. Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, and beyond that, that's a management question. <laughs> we'll leave it for the management. Yes. Steve, thanks very much for joining us. My pleasure. And we'll be talking to you again. We'll probably see you. We'll probably catch up with you again. Oh, cool. Then we've we'll got to over that. Okay. Steve Lowe, today. Yeah. Steve Large, what a gentleman, what an absolute gentleman, and he, he's played with them all, hasn't he? Baby Shambles, uh, Duffy, the whole lot, and he's continuing on tour, and of course he's on tour with Squeeze as well, and fantastic stuff from the whole lot there, brilliant stuff. Uh, Philip Doherty has a new play out, which we're going to have more details on next week, in next week's programme. We hope to have Phil on this week, but he's getting rehearsals done for the great, crowd, uh, the great Couch Rebellion that's taking place, getting that uh, stuff done, that he's getting rehearsals done. And uh, we'll give you more details on that in a, mo in a moment. I'll get more details on that in a moment. But somebody who was supposed to be here tonight, uh, in the, the empty chair, I'm, I'm speaking to no chair now, who was supposed to be here live, is, is Kerry Ann Boyle, and she's in Cross McGlen. We're not impressed. We wanted you here. She was supposed to be here to talk. I think she's coming on next week, but we'll, we'll uh, tell you what happened. Somebody filmed her doing this.
<laughs> Carry on, as promised, I told you it'd be played, and there it is. That's 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 you doing your hula hoop thingy, isn't it? That's it. That's you doing the the, the hula hoop thingy. Told you if you didn't come on, we would play it, and there you are. You, you're live, and how do you do that hula hoop thing? I'll never ever know. But well done there. Are you coming on next week? We'll have to wait and see. I'll be in contact with you later on this week or. Maybe, yeah, we'll see. I'll contact you with Facebook. I might just ring you and see how you're coming on. Carry on, boy. Now, uh, Philip Doherty's new play, The Great Couch Rebellion. Now, this is a... I think it's very heavy satire, this now. Of course, as with Philip, it's going to be stinging, it's going to be storytelling and the whole lot. But I think your inspiration from watching Ender Kenny chasing a rabbit or a turkey or something. Well, anyway, it's on very, very soon. We'll give you the dates later on. I'll give you the dates after the break that's coming up now in just a few moments. And uh, we'll tell you more about Philip then as well. But uh, go and see it. It's, it's got great, great, great reviews. And, of course, Philip won the big award as well. Right, we'll be back with more from the Green Room and Daniel O'Neill right after this break.